say Dresa. And today I would like to talk about uh, another well-designed project, which is an automated traffic signal lights. As you see, this signal light system is consisted of four intersections. I have one countdown timer on this, a second one, third intersection, and the fourth one. And this is a south north main street, and each of these are four different intersections. Each intersection has traffic lights which has consisted of red, yellow and green and a countdown timer. Also, it has consisted of a panel which shows the date and time, the current time. And the system when it starts from the beginning, based on the cycle, it assumes that from this light to this light, if a car goes with a speed of about 30 miles per hour, it's going to take about 10 minutes from this intersection to this one. So based on the calculation, if it keeps, if the driver keeps the 30 miles per hour and stick with it, when he gets to the second intersection, is going to receive a green light to pass without the stopping. And the same is true from the second one to the third one. The current time and date. Right now it's showing that it's, it's showing the current date. It's 18.43 minutes and 45 seconds. And now it switches to uh, date. It's uh, July. 22nd and 2013. This is the control panel of the system. When we want to start the system at the beginning, we just push this start button. To stop it, we push it uh, this uh, uh, stop button. And to, to, to switch to emergency mode, we can depress this uh, switch, the yellow one. Right now it's showing the time again. It switched back to time. It's uh, 18, 44 minutes, 55 seconds. When we want to go to emergency mode, just by pushing this yellow, it goes to emergency mode. As you see, all the traffic lights located on South North Street, all of them are showing the yellow blinking lights and all east west streets are showing green uh, excuse me showing uh, red blinking lights it's also worth mentioning that every day from 24 p.m. to 7 a.m. it also switches to emergency mode we are also able to monitor the traffic lights located at different intersections. This is the first one, second one, third and fourth one. Accordingly, as you see, the first one right now is on green light and counting down, while the second on the east-west street is on the red one. This is also a start a stop emergency case. By pushing the stop button system shuts down by pushing a start it starts on and this also puts the system in emergency mode also when a car is passing between those two IR sensors I talked about it already it here shows the speed right now I take my uh, hand and remove it from the first to second one and you're gonna see the speed in a, in a short while.
As you see, the car was passing with 120 kilometers per hour, so it just turned on the uh, red light, saying that this car is speeding. Also here, I have also time and date. When these four LED indicators are turning on and off, that means it's showing the time. Right now is 18 p.m., 53 minutes and 29 seconds. In a while, it's going to switch back to date, and it will show the date. Right now, it's showing the date. As it was mentioned already, we have used this DLC to control this uh, traffic system, automated traffic system. And as you saw in the previous video clip, this HMI is showing the whole operator, operation of the system on its display. Now what am I going to do is to take this cable off the PLC and put another cable and download another software which is developed using WinCC, Cinematic WinCC, Siemens Cinematic WinCC. And also we're going to see the same situation that here it's, it's showing on this computer mind. As it was mentioned already, I have developed another software using Siemens Cinematic WinCC software. This is the graphic I have based on the WinCC software. As you see, I have my lights. This is my south-north street and these are east-west streets. I have the lights working, countdown timers and lights. I have my three push button, which represent a start, a stop, and emergency. And here I have shown that the maximum speed limit on this street is 30 miles, 30 kilometers per hour. And I go ahead and uh, move my car, my hand, from the, in front of those two IR sensors to, to show you that the calculation of the speed of the car. As you see, it took three seconds to drive or travel from first sensor to the second, three seconds, so based on the speed and distance of travel, the calculation is 120 kilometers per hour, so red lights comes on. As I showed you already on the panel of the system, I have also an analog clock here, which is showing at about 35 minutes past uh, 7 p.m. And also this indicator shows my date. Today is July 22nd, 2013. This is the third part of the video, shows you how this automated traffic light system is working. And I thank you for watching my video.